Hey everyone, uh, just wanted to do a quick video, uh, show you how I have been tuning my uh, ICOM uh, ICR71A. I use a lot of uh, the same uh, techniques when I tune this guy, the Kenwood R2000. And I would imagine that some of these uh, techniques are helpful uh, for other types of radios as well. And one of the most underrated accessories you can pick up is an external uh, DSP. Um, you may have seen this guy on some of my other videos. That's a Radio Shack uh, DSP 40 and official SWL uh, Gilles out of uh, Montreal has the same box. Uh, I picked it up in the 90s when it was on clearance at Radio Shack. I think I paid 40 bucks for it. If I recall, the power supply for it was more than half of what I paid for the DSP. So anyways, you can pick those up on uh, eBay or other uh, online auction sites. Um, they're not that expensive. They're useful, uh, provided you know how to use them. So I'll show you the settings I have right now. We have our bandwidth at medium, our filter on SSB. And I'll show you how to set the uh, audio gain for it so you're not overloading the thing. Right now we're tuning on uh, 80 meters. There's a signal right there. You want to get your volume so that it comes up in just about sets that little green LED right there so that it doesn't stay lit but it flashes uh, according to the audio. So we've got that set just about right as you can see right there and uh, luckily this radio has a lot of nice uh, user features including uh, switchable uh, filters right now I'm on narrow passband tuning is a wonderful feature I'll go into that in a minute but the next thing I'm going to show you to do uh, what I do is set my tone You can hear as I turn the tone up, uh, the noise floor changes. Turn it down, you've got a lot less noise. So that works really well with my external speaker, the ICOM IC SP3, which is the speaker we're using right here. So use that tone control uh, judiciously, and I, I think you'll, you'll get some mileage out of it. But our little friend, the PBT, Passband Tuning, a slight adjustment to the left because we're on LSB. Here the noise goes right down. So we've got a very... The radio is a quiet radio to begin with. It's got fantastic uh, dynamic range. But when you make those settings, uh, you're going to notice a big difference. Um, I, of course, that's usable on USB as well. You just want to swing this to the right. I don't use the internal notch filter. Um, on this radio it, it does work extremely well but because I've got notching built in to the DSP 40 um, that is a killer killer notch filter built inside this DSP and you might want to pick one of these up just for notch filtering alone it will kill any heterodyning uh, near that frequency if, if you do have any but I think I'm going to close up this video. Next video, I'd like to show uh, some different ways to tune AM, including uh, Exalted Carrier uh, Selectable uh, Sideband, or e I think they call it ECCB, or e 
E C S B. Someone will correct me, but uh, I'll do a video on that. But I hope this was helpful and uh, happy DXing and happy shortwave listening. Take care for now.